So what I'm going to present to you is some very interesting work we are doing for India's largest telecom operator, Airtel. Now, I I'm not an analytics guy, so you shouldn't get very involved or very, you know, worked up about analytics per se. But I'm going to show you interesting snapshots of work which we are doing, which is engaging, interesting, and most importantly, it's work that is making money. Now, that is the interesting part of this whole discussion. So, analytics in action. First and foremost, you know, my colleague who runs strategy and the one who runs analytics insisted I must show you this slide. Now, I can't count the number of zeros. So, if you can, you're smarter than I am. But it's 187 million subscribers that we have on the Airtel network in India. Out of those, 181 million are prepaid. Now, I won't go into all the other, you know, zeros there, but we generate a billion calls per day. Now, that's the magnitude of live data that is coming into the Airtel system. And it has been coming live for the last well over 15 years. Till about a year ago, and I had the good fortune to launch the Airtel brand uh, when I was in my advertising avatar. So I still have old friends there and I went to see them and I said, money and everywhere these days, money is important. They let me into the system. The joy of what we do is we have uninhibited access to Airtel's data. Uh, we don't transcend any privacy norms. So when I talk of data, I only talk of numbers. I don't know who the person is. It could well be one of the numbers there is me, but I don't know that's me, right? So when I looked at all the data that we had, this is what, I mean, this is what it was tagged by. You know, there was, I could always tell you which circle, which city, which tehsil, are you a roamer, not a roamer, what's your ARPU, are you on 3G, are you on 2G? So it was tagged like that and I, as I told you, I'm not a, I'm not a, you know, analytics guy. So I asked my, the guy I hired to run analytics. So he said, you see, Mr. Goel, you won't understand, but you see, imagine this is an Excel sheet with 187 million rows and 150 columns and it is changing every second. So this is what is big data. You see, I have attended some of these conferences in the last year or so. When they say big data, I don't understand big data. This is big data. 187 million rows, so many columns. Right? So that's what we are really talking about. And then we said, because I had gone very proudly and said, you know, we are going to make money out of this. And I started going to some of my old friends. I went to Roy Cherian's old company and I said, you know, you guys are Nestle, we are Airtel, we can do billion things for you. Zera, huh? very good. What all can you do for us? We want to talk to youth. So I said, okay, that sounds like a good idea. But the moment I started actually interacting with the data, I figured almost 100% of the KYC data that Airtel has and so does every other telco is wrong. It is wrong or it is dated. Now, why is it wrong? It's not that it is deliberate. It is not that question they were asking just now that people don't disclose. But what happens is in this country you are required to submit a number of documents. So when I moved to Bombay and I acquired myself a phone, I had a certain set of documents. A few months later, my wife and my daughter arrived. They needed a set of documents. They didn't have those documents. So my secretary happily took my documents and bought two more connections in my name. So as far as Airtel is concerned, Airtel still has my profile. It doesn't have my wife's profile. It doesn't have my daughter's profile. And then, to make matters worse, we acquired us as a driver. And he had no documents. 
Now, the fourth phone was again acquired in my name. And then the maid came and she was on my name. So, theoretically now, there are five phones in my name and the data on all of them is completely inaccurate. So, that is the starting point. In any case, we got on to work because I had made this big commitment to Mr. Mittal and said, I am going to make some sense out of it. So, we sat down and we said, out of the data that we have, we still have data which is fairly good quality on a number of parameters. Right? I won't go into any of these details and then it will get very complicated. But, you know, I have said, youth, my daughter is 19 years old, she should actually, she is actually showing us male 35 because that is the age at which I acquired the phone and nobody updated the data after that. So, where am I going to find the youth? Right? Now, I will give you two very interesting insights over here. Where do I find the youth? It's very simple. We look at our own data. First thing I look for is a night SMS pack. <laughs> Anybody who has a night SMS pack is youth. Right? Now, we are looking for male youth. I mean, the boys in the office do a lot more stuff. I am just simplifying it. You look for a cricket pack. 95% Night SMS pack, cricket pack, younger, younger guy. Simple to find out. Now, this one is a trick question. You know, it's already so late, so I've got to wake up some of you guys. If you tell me, how do we find out if they are women? Hmm? What? Yeah, you got part of that answer, yes. But that's not all, you know, and this is... An interesting one because I went to one of these very, very uppity, very fancy FMCG companies. So he looks at me, he says, how many of them are women? I said 28 million out of 187 million as per our KYC data are women. He said, how do I know they are women? I said, okay, you know, you and I take a bet. He said, yeah, I love doing this, you know, when you're my age, you are playing with someone 20 years younger, even if you lose, it doesn't matter. So, I said to him, you and I take a bet, we take up a list of a thousand people from our sample, and you guess how many of them are women, and I will tell you by the evening how many of them are really women. So, we did a test. You tell me, how do I find the women? Nothing. Very simple, boss. And there is there's no trick question in it. I put four telecallers in our office. They call the number. If woman picks up, it's a woman. Man picks up, it's a man. Nobody picks up anybody else's mobile phone. So, I mean, when you look at data also, if you don't use common sense, it won't work. Now, for those of you very statistically inclined and interested, company tags is, Airtel actually has fairly detailed data on 1.6 million SMEs. And for a lot of categories, SMEs are very, very interesting. IT companies, uh, logistics companies, insurance companies, so on and so forth. Right? In any case, five very short air tails from Airtel. Right? Here we go. Airtel number one, uh, we were talking to a job portal. They said we get lots of applications, lots of people coming in. Main market is for professionals, make between 10 to 20 lakhs. We want to find those guys. Now, if you can help us find them better and quicker, we run a campaign with you. So, now, this is where I believe before you attack data like this, you need intuition, logic, common sense. So, not having accurate KYC data, knowing occupation or CTC was impossible. So, what we did was, we said, 
where are we going to find these software professionals? We are going to find these professionals. We identified nine cities in India, which accounted for 49 IT parks. Right? So we took that. In those nine cities, we had 23 million Airtel customers. Out of these, we did a scrub and only found 15 million who were non-DND. So if they were on DND, and he just took them out. Now then we looked at those tech parks and examined the user data to determine how many of them were actually pinging our towers. Brought the number down to from 15 million to 800,000. Then, now this is interesting, but this is again logic. We said let's, because there could be people coming to the IT park, let's look for people who are employed there, which means out of 30 days, at least 20 days, they should be going to work in that area. Right? The moment we did that, and they should stay 7, 8 hours a day, it brought the number down to 300,000. Right? Then we said, uh, how do we figure out this CTC bit? So we said, okay, let's put filter of smartphone. 130,000. Then we made first bad move. We said ARPU 1000. The moment we said ARPU 1000, the number crashed to less than about 10,000. No, 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 boss. Ye, maybe actually wrong question to ask. Why would an IT professional be making so many calls? She calling friends, is that? Ah, you know what? We should really be using filter of data consumption. Was he's a IT guy. Yeah? Number went up, 61,750. So we started from 20 million, came down to 61,750. We ran a campaign. App download rate of 4.2% compared to less than 1% they used to do earlier. 